Gang, what's up, baby? What's up, Taurus? What's going on in the life of a Taurian for the month of April? First half, anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Are you guys really in your motherfucking head? Hmm. Hmm. Hey, boo, hey. This is your first time to my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that don't cuss. Because see me. I'm going to do that, all right? So this is for my Summer Rising Venus as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Taurus Bull Gang. Y'all ready? Y'all just inching on up, inching on up, inching on up. Ready for y'all season? I already smell y'all asses coming. I smell them damn bulls. No, I'm just saying. But you guys, I'm very, very, very excited. I know y'all mad at me and want to punch me in the eye or whatnot. But in my defense, I'm not a robot. I go through shit too. And you know I'm not going to come to YouTube when I'm in my bag. Okay, if you ain't from the South, well, that's pretty much mocha terminology because this is what I say, okay? In my bag means I'm in my feelings, okay? I had some shit to sort out. I had to chop some shit down like trees, okay? But I'm back, and that's what matters now, okay? We ain't gonna talk about the past. Don't keep bringing up the past. Don't keep bringing up the past. We ain't gonna talk about that. We in the, we in the now, okay? So, to the new subscribers, <laughs> welcome to the family. We only dysfunctional, as you can see. We don't fight a fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel, but we do cuss. We grow, we love, we share, we evolve, we enlighten, positive vibes only. Returning family, what's popping? What's going on? We made it, y'all. We pushing this thing right on through. And we <laughs> and we eased this thing on out. Now, yes, we did, okay? And so, you guys, thank you so much for continuously supporting me. I really appreciate it. The likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. You guys, it means the world. Thank you so much from a very humble place. Thank you. Um, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found below in the description, okay? Um, this is just general, so please take what resonates. Leave the rest. Don't try to make that motherfucking shoe. If, if the shoe is too big, don't try to put that motherfucker on because you're going to fall. Take what is for you. Leave the rest, okay? Let's rock, bulls. We're going to start with your intuitive messages. First and foremost, I couldn't write it down as an intuitive message. But, you know, I was getting ready. I was pumped about 20 minutes ago, getting ready to record y'all video. And then I remembered I had a fish sandwich in there on the table. Y'all energy, meditating on y'all energy made me hungry. Y'all greedy, okay? That's 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 for the month of April, May. Y'all ain't going to fool me. I know who was your first love, Taurus. Nobody else knows your secret. Y'all made me hungry, all right? So your intuitive messages, not and ate my fish sandwich. Full now. Feel better to give it to you, all right? For the month of April for Taurus is anxiety, past life, missed opportunity, codependency, disloyalty, foresight, revelations, fear of the unknown, Catalyst, blessings, force change, veil lifted, visions, dreams, travel, self esteem, soul ties, inheritance, dark magic, tantric sex, legalities, spiritual protection, truth. Thief, life cycles, triggers, royal ancestry, awakenings, new love, rejection. I want this much shit change towards releasing, <laughs> compromise, legacy, user, blockage, faded meetings, Leo, Gemini. Cancer, Pisces, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius. Let's talk about it. All right. So if any of those intuitive messages did resonate with you all, definitely let's talk about it. All right. So the overall energy that I got for you all. Okay, one second. I'm gonna give you one second. I'm gonna give you your angel message. Your angel message for the month of April comes from Archangel Sal to find you guys what fell for you was gifts from God. 
We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. Okay? And I definitely feel the energy of Taurus. You guys, and even when I begin to um, shuffle all of the cards and actually, like, really, really, really focus on your energy, you guys, I felt this energy of, like, overthinking, overthinking, overthinking. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, no, I'm not ready because what if I fuck this up? What if I... It just feels like energy of, like, all over the damn place. First off, before you... We're going to bring it down one fuck at a time. You cannot find balance in giving a fuck about everybody's shit plus your own shit plus they shit and then your mom and them shit. And then it's, it, you got to find the balance of the fucks one fuck at a time. What, in fact, balance the importance, the relevance of the fucks, the things that matters the most one at a time. And really, really bring a lot of you all really need to. Um, start some type of dream journals i'm hearing um a lot of you all may be receiving a lot of esoteric information some of you all may even be uh, dreaming of some type of like geometrical shapes or patterns during this time it has to do with some source of alchemy as well as manifestation as well as some type of past life recognition okay so for a lot of you all during the month of april some of you guys feel stuck and trapped given to situations okay but what you're not seeing is that you actually hold the key to and this life fucking sucks okay i'm not a rich bitch yet but when i blow up <laughs> we gonna be i'm being your face like this boom you're gonna be able to see all the acne and shit i'll be picking in my face about you know but we're not gonna talk about that okay but a lot of you all feel stuck or trapped in a situation for some of you all you just don't want to fight Yet you're, it's, it's this feeling of being like still in defense mode or feeling as if you have to like protect yourself from something. For some of you all, for some of you all, I feel as if it's an energy of like wanting harmony. Harmony within the self, actually grounding within the self without feeling as if you're overextending your energy and feeling stuck and trapped because ultimately this man has the key on his damn chest to those cycles. Pretty much, this man has the key and the the key and the lock on his chest, baby. Only thing he has to do, to be honest with you, is just reach up and disconnect himself. But ultimately, this man is poker face. He's hiding his pain. He's hiding his hurt. Some of you all may be very poker face during this time feeling stuck and trapped in the situations. The spirit is giving you whoa. Spirit is giving you an opportunity to really express yourself and an opportunity for some of you to release your burdens. For some of you all some of you all this month maybe receiving some piece of jewelry. It's something about pearls. Pearls and lockets. This could be someone in your energy, but for some of you all, you're going to receive some type of gift, something something about pearls. For some of you all, you have a gift coming from the universe in the form of a heart chakra union. I'm hearing a gem. So for some of you all, this could actually be a literal gift. I heard flesh. For some of you all, this is a person who maybe you view as a gem. Who also has come into your life to give you that harmony, or will be in the month of April, some type of assistance that will bring you harmony. This is a healing energy with it being the blue. And also in the month of April, there's a focus on your throat chakra. Speak up, Taurus. Speak up for yourself. Speak your truth. Walk in your authenticity so that you don't feel disharmony. Okay? And feeling like this, feeling trapped. For some of you all, it's about releasing yourself from these shackles and feeling as if you have to give something and truly just taking this healing energy of harmony within the self and speaking that truth, heal, that, that truth that will heal yourself and others in your energy to release this. For some of you all, some of you all could actually be, um, some of y'all could actually be gardening. 
Some of you all may be in this very, very, very meditative place where you just really want solitude. You just kind of want to stand, kind of want to be alone. For some of you all, it's harvest time. Spirit is coming to bring you, okay? Spirit is coming to give you the, give you your reward for the seeds in which you've sown and the work in which you're doing within the self. And for some of you all, it's a bit uncomfortable because it's going to require for you to make a choice, a decision, and an enlightened choice that's going to require a whole lot of faith. Some of you all may be planting flowers. For some of you all, you're going to get some type of revelation through a dream, a vision, a premonition. Some of you all are also um, actually inheriting the gift of premonitions. There's also a focus on your heart chakra in the month of April. For some of you all, you're just overall working on yourself and in working on yourself, you're having to make some decisions to release yourself from things. Because everything and everyone and every circumstance and every situation to us can't go. Some of you could also be working on some type of business endeavor. Some of you all are also responsible for sowing the seeds of sowing the seeds of matriarch. Sowing the seeds of some type of like, some of you guys could also be coming into your like your ancestral ties or your ancestral legacies or finding out things about that are tied to your ancestors. Like for some of you all, for example, let's say your ancestors were farmers, okay? And for some of you all, you have this urge to grow crops and you don't really know what it is. It's, it's, it's kind of embedded within your DNA. It's your responsibility to actually assist in some type of agriculture. And I'm here in recession. I don't want to talk about this. Some of y'all could also be dreaming of some type of recession that is coming about because I definitely, I wish I could stop the dreams about it, but that's for a whole nother video. Some of you all could also be seeing, have this foresight to see that things aren't what they seem to be when it comes to pro, like the production of like fruits and vegetables. Some of y'all could also be doing research about clone fruit, or clone vegetables. Some of you guys some of you guys are really moving into your life paths. You have to, your soul is having some type of recognition in the month of April. Which is causing you to make a choice. And for some of you with this being a zero, this choice is going to renew you, but it's also going to put you on a whole new path. It's a restart. For some of you all You've been in this place of not speaking your truth with this sword being down. You've been in this place of not standing in your truth. And ultimately, I feel like this is where we're coming out of. You've been in this place that uh, of disillusionment to the point that now that you're kind of working on yourself and you're kind of accepting your authenticity and accepting your truth, baby, it's like it's uncomfortable. It makes you feel this way. So a lot of you all in the month of April are going to make a, a solid decision, you guys, to move through the path of, to move through the door of enlightenment, to choose for yourself. To evolve. And this path is very narrow. And for some of you all, during the month of April, Spirit is saying a lot of you guys are going to be, this. there's this veil, there's this uncovering. For some of you all, you may actually, your eyes are going to be working different. And when I say that, when I said about, when I spoke about new vision earlier, Spirit is showing me some of you all, some of you all were born with a veil over your eye. For some of you all during this time, you're going to be able to see even people that you know kind of shape-shifting. You're going to see the shadow aspects of people during this time. So there's a very, 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 you guys are very encouraged to not let your left hand know what the right one is doing, especially when it comes to pinnacles heritage um some type of inheritance a lot of you all are making your next move your best move for some of you all you're releasing you're releasing this vibration of feeling trapped or feeling stuck or feeling resentful because you feel as if you're missing doors of opportunities 
by not speaking your truth. Needed to make a choice. The Spirit is saying if you choose to make the choice to evolve, this moves you back into the seat of abundance. It, it, it moves you into this place of peace, tranquility, comfort, being able to provide, being able to build those legacies with the vibrations around you that are supposed to be there to assist you in your growth. My mama used to always say, if people are in your life and they're not helping you grow, how do you benefit? For some of you all, during this time, you may be seeing a lot of frogs. Some of y'all really need to pay attention to your health. And some of you all really need to drink more water and eat more green vegetables. Someone is having some type of, uh, uh, some type of like, I don't know if it is, is it gastric I'm hearing, but you need there's a need for you to eat green leafy vegetables, kale, um, um, shit, y'all, spinach, green leafy vegetables. Y'all help me in the comment section because spirit is saying that's for a few of you all. Some of you all may also be switching up your diet and how you eat during this time. Some of you guys may be actually, um, kind of start like slowly moving into the vegan community. I can't help it. I, I I can't do that. I love meat too much. I'm I'm working on it. Working on a few aspects of myself. I just love meat too much. I all kind of meat. <laughs> Y'all know my birthday Friday. I'm, I'm, the, the cutting up is real. And it's, it's starting early. I'm going to stop. Professionalism. So I'm going to stop playing so damn much. Uh, I lied. But towards a lot of you all, some of you all may um, may be researching some type of woods or some type of, there is some type of, looks like a ritual or something happening within the woods. It, this looks to be some type of ancestral ritual for protection and abundance. Somebody is doing this shit for some illegal purposes. Somebody trying to sell some dope dope for some protection. Ooh, some of y'all cold, baby. But there is a union happening. And for some of you all, it's actually starting within you. And for some of you all, this is past life. There is a union forming for a Taurus. For some of you all, this is coming into union with your twin flame. This person could be water. This person could also be air or fire. Some of you all may be seeing a lot of butterflies. Signifying new life cycles or rebirth and reincarnations. Some of you all need to have a conversation, possibly with some type of prominent male figure. This could be a father, this could be an uncle. Some of you all, this person could also be coming to see you in your dreams to kind of give you some form of guidance. Some of y'all may be finding feathers during this time, and I'm hearing that it has to do with the past. Ancestor, your ancestors want to know that you that, that want you to know that they are with you, guiding you. Some of you all, there is abundance. Your father, this father figure could be coming to some of you all in your dreams, kind of walking you like 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 giving you some type of soul map to the door through the door of abundance. And for some of you all, they're also coming to warn you because some of y'all have snakes around y'all. But with this new vision, with this new insight, you're really needing to trust your dreams. Because right now, with this new portal open, nothing is as it seems. And for some of you all, you got to get out of your head and begin to trust yourself. Okay? Alright, so let's see what's going on with my damn Torians in love. Because we already 20 minutes here in the spirit now. What the hell? <laughs> it was just what you have. My beautiful Tauruses. 
some of you all also may receive some type of um some type of news about an inheritance from a father figure. You just recently lost a father figure. Baby, I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, some of you guys could also be hearing about this in the month of April. Thank you, Spirit. They took me back here. But it is for some of you all, there's a need of a need to release. And for some of you all, with this inheritance that's coming, there's a need of you. There's a need for you not to tell people in your environment because their intentions Either you wearing a poker face or somebody else in your environment is wearing a poker face, but their intentions are not what it seems to be. And things will be revealed um, between the 1st and the 15th of April. We are already on the 9th, y'all. So between now and the 15th, some things may be revealed to you that's going to assist you in releasing yourself from your burdens. Okay? All right, so fear what's going on with my story and some of the Venus as one of the cross watchers in love for the month of April. What can they expect in love for the month? of April. Okay, some of you guys will be starting new jobs, okay? Or actually, some of y'all may also be moving into a new place uh, during the first half of April, okay? Some of you guys could also be wanting to start something start something abundant possibly with another Taurus or an Aries, okay? Some of you guys want to build something solid. But you're going to need, there's a need for you guys to release burdens first. Like some of you guys have to release something in order to uh, be able to like come into this stability. And for some of you all, I don't read reversals, but Spirit said leave it. For some of you all, this could have to do with a child, okay? And for some of you all, you're releasing you're releasing something that makes you feel. Some of y'all could be releasing somebody who communicates childishly. Or for some of y'all. This could also be you actually not speaking, you not speaking up for what it is that you feel. You're not speaking your burdens out into the open. You're just holding on to everything, okay? Here it is saying for some of you guys, you could be experiencing a tower moment, okay, in uh, the month of April. This could involve a Scorpio. This could also involve, um, this could also involve an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could also involve another Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Horizon. Taurus expecting love. Yeah. For some of you all, you're trying to avoid this tired moment. You feel alone, yet holding on to things that truly make you sad. There's this great release that needs to happen. Because for some of you all, for some of you, for those of you who actually, some of y'all going to get news regarding some type of business endeavor. For those of you who are starting a new business or going into partnership with someone, it does look to be successful. However, you got to sacrifice something in order to get something. So for some of you all, you could be leaving a job that you kind of look at as burdensome. Okay. For some of you all, you're just in this state of feeling as if you're trapped. You're not speaking your truth. You all in your damn head. For some of you all, you're in the middle of transformation. You're in the middle of transforming. Okay, I've got to pull back so I can see this lady's shit so I can show you guys. My cellulite was. For some of you all, ironically, this is also cellulite. Some of you guys also need to get you some cellulite. Okay. It is great for focus. It's also great for um, charging your other stones as well as um seeing things different it it it, it kind of gives you this clearness within the head so that you can see things from different perspectives okay great for intuitive people as well as people who have any type of like any type of gifts of foresight visions and things of that nature but for some of you all eight is about infinite okay for some of you all this could have been something that you could have released in the past life like in the middle of your transformation okay for some of you all you're transforming yet in the midst of your transformation you're kind of stuck kind of stuck here in the way that you know to be, okay? And I feel like this transformation is bringing on a lot of information that is kind of causing you to feel as if you're confused because it's showing you slowly but surely that you're having to release certain things because ultimately they're not in the in, in the greater good of your damn transformation. And I feel like a lot of you guys are not are not communicating this. You're keeping it to yourself with these swords being down. And some of you guys could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with it being air. But I feel like for some of you all, it's like you're holding on to situations and not really communicating how you truly feel. Because for some of you all, you feel trapped and alone. But you're not communicating it with this lady. She could spit that shit out of her mouth, but she chooses to hold it. Because if you hold it some shit in your mouth, you can't talk at the same time. Let me 
show me what message you have for Taurus for the month of April. Yeah, for some of you all, this could have to do with reconciliation, with reconciling with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or some type of like. This could also do with the 1111 here, okay? I also see here with them posts. For some of you all, this could have to do with some type of coming together underneath the next full moon. I believe the next full moon is on the 19th, or this could have been illuminated, okay? Or something could be illuminated around the next full moon, okay? The next full moon, I believe, is in Scorpio, okay? <laughs> Look, that's all I'm going to say. <sighs> on the 19th, I believe it's either in Scorpio or in Libra. But with the 1111 here, whatever this is, it's definitely destined, okay? It's faded. So whether you fight it or not, Taurus, something is going to be illuminated. Okay, so for some of you all, the card jumped out of there. Some of you guys are really needing to stand your boundaries during this month and really set up healthy boundaries because for some of you all, what you're not speaking, or some of y'all could also be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, female. You could be, you could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in your chart as well. But for some of you all, you're not speaking the truth that you actually want to move forward. You want to expand. And for some of you all, you want to move forward quickly. And for some of you all, this could also be moving forward Somebody could also be communicating moving forward, possibly after. Um, somebody could actually be finding something. Some of y'all could also be having someone spying you. Some of y'all could also be spying on the fire sign with that damn magnifying glass here. And I feel like there is a planning of moving things forward very fast. Some of y'all could actually be moving away from a fire sign, every seal Sagittarius, because this person doesn't want to commit. Some of y'all feel like this person is just in and out. There's a lot of fire in y'all reading. Hmm. For some of you all, some of you guys are in this place, you're in your head, you're trying to protect yourself and keep your sanity. Yeah, for some of you all, I'm trying to tell you, some of y'all got people that you feel like are trying like in your external that is that's kind of like draining you or feel I feel like this is the energy of someone draining you or you just trying to find your safe space in the midst of emotional turmoil or chaos for some of you all and some of y'all are not even sleeping properly you really need to get more rest towards some of you guys it could do with the it could have to do with your dreams as well Some of you guys could also be dealing with the Virgo. I feel like for some of you all, either you're dealing with a Virgo or this could have to do with going into this place of solitude. Shine the light on the situation. Really pulling out of it what makes sense. And for some of you all, this could also have to do with an Aries or a movement forward. Taking a leap of faith. But in order to do so, Spirit is saying, open your mouth, Taurus, communicate, speak how you feel. And yes, because for some of you all, some of you all, you're not opening up at all. And some of you guys could also be getting the truth about some form of deception. It's funny how I said when I was talking about that thief. On your intuitive messages, I said thief, and I spoke about this treasure chest here. Spirit is really on my head about telling you guys, it's something coming monetarily. Spirit is really on my head right now about telling you guys to guard your treasure chest. Whatever your treasure chest may mean to you. For some of you all, this has to do with your emotions, your feelings, okay? For some of you all, this could have to do with someone actually like trying to like cut off communication or like there could be ultimatums given that's going to make you feel stuck or trapped or make you feel as if you have 
watch your temper during this time, Taurus, as well, because some of y'all may get very mad and say some things out the side of your neck that you can't come back from or this to be done to you, okay? Let me break this down in elements so it makes more sense, okay? Because y'all reading is really jumpy, and I really don't like that. Okay, so if you're dealing with water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you and this person could possibly have a child. You could be finding out that this person is actually pregnant, okay? I feel like for some of you all, this is going to be a burden, okay? Because I feel like you could be connected to someone who you already have something solid or some type of family structure with, okay? So I feel like you're in this place of feeling stuck as if, like, how the hell am I going to tell this person, okay, that this is going on, all right? For some of you all, you could be dealing with the cancer, okay? Some of y'all, this could also be a Scorpio here. And some of y'all with the fish here, this could also be a Pisces. For some of you all, this is new love, a new spark, okay? Those of you who are dealing with earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, I feel that we're dealing with this person, whomever you're dealing with with earth in their chart, I feel like there is a lot of passion, there is a lot of fire and spark in the relationship as far as a passion of you, but when it comes to, and I feel like you and this person have a great practical relationship, however, someone is very controlling. And I feel like y'all, if you're dealing with Capricorn towards Virgo, somebody's bored, okay? This could also be somebody holding on to another person due to financial reasons or this fear of being um, financially independent. Someone also has a fear of the unknown because they're comfortable, okay? Um, you could also have a family with this person, but there's this sense of boredom, okay? And for some of you all, this has caused a third-party situation on the outskirts with the fire sign, okay? Keep up now. For some of you all who are dealing with fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, it's a whole lot of it up here, okay? Some of you are dealing with fire. I feel like this person could be younger than you. This could also be a person who you also see yourself having some child with. You could be finding out that this person is, the, or you or this other person is um, going to be having a baby. Some of y'all could actually be finding out that you got a baby coming by a fire sign, okay? For some of you all, this is really going to be a very stressful situation for yourself or this fire sign. For some of you all, it's faded because you have a past life with this person and you actually have purpose with this person, okay? There's some type of, I'm hearing royal ancestry, okay? So you and this person could be some type of um, royalty that descended and followed each other here into a past life, okay? I mean, into this life from a past life, all right? So something is definitely faded here, all right? For some of you all, if you're dealing with a fire sign, this could also be a reconciliation. This person could have, you could have cut this person off or they cut you off. It has something to do with um, not wanting to get involved in like, it looks like it has something to do with like not wanting to get involved with situations that are just in and out and don't offer them or yourself any type of stability, okay? I feel like with this fire sign, there is going to be a reconciliation, but there has to be some type of um, releasing first, okay? Um, I feel like you may feel like this person is going to be in and out, and there's a fear about that because you want to make sure that this person is going to be um, on the same page as you as far as building something solid looks like here. And for some of you all, there's a need to not try to control the situation or manipulate, or manipulate it because this is already divinely guided. It's like written in the stars with all these stars here. For those of you who are dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and I am going to clarify these cards, okay? Um, for those of you who are dealing with the, with the major arcana, those of you dealing with air signs, okay? All of the air sign cards that I got here that actually fell out. Y'all, yeah, I'm going to show y'all the air signs cards. Kind of interesting. All these damn swords. If you're dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius, go on in order. In the order of the cards. Some of you all could actually be in your head, okay? I feel like you're keeping this to your damn self, all right? Some of y'all, this could be some type of deception, some form of deception that you're going to be getting the truth and clarity about, okay? It could also have to do with something that was... um. Something that was like premeditated, okay? Someone really thought about this for quite some time before they acted on it. I definitely feel like this could have to do with the Queen of Swords. Um, some of y'all, this could have to do with boundaries, okay? Clear boundaries in a situation and setting up what you will and will not accept because people are only going to do what you allow them to do, okay? And for some of you all, because you haven't really spoken the truth or this air sign hasn't really spoken the truth. And for some of you all, that truth definitely has to do because some of, for some of you all, you're dealing with an air sign. I have the King and Queen of swords here so for some of you all this has to do with either you and this person it's just cold as ice 
you are the other person because I feel like this is a situation that is just cold. It's ice cold and neither parties want to be, okay, the one to speak how they feel. So there's so much stuff here with all these swords here on this ice that is not being discussed, which is putting someone in this place here of illusions of not being clear of feeling as if they're stuck or feeling as if you know they're trapped or feeling as if they can't release themselves all of the air cards that i had here was all about indecision indecisiveness um someone not being clear deception um premeditated possible um Steven, I mean, yeah, the month of April finna be lit for Taurus. You guys, it's like, what I'm hearing ultimately is forced change. And for some of you all, these are triggers that are going to allow you to fully heal everything that you hold beneath the surface. Every damn thing that you've been sweeping under a rug. Because for some of you all, these are patterns and these are cycles in which why you, you don't, you fear this vulnerability in moving, and in moving into relationships and really opening up and showing a person your true self because these are things, these are fears that are being held. And so Spirit is giving you the opportunity to release so that you can move forward with those two cups that you got behind you, but you can't see those because you're still licking your wounds, baby. Okay? And that's okay. The Spirit is saying, speak your truths. There will be something illuminated, okay? This could be a child. This could be about a child. This could be involving a child. This could be uh, involving emotions. This could be a, a regarding a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some form of rejection, abandonment, someone feeling left out, lack, not having, or feeling as if they've missed something. There will be some truth spoken. And ironically, that damn moon. So I feel like for some of you all, this could have actually been triggered by this Aries new moon because it was a dark moon. It was about the shadow aspects of ourselves as well as others and being able to recognize that, see, smooth through situations and know, have this knowing, this all-knowing of what is what is the asset and what is the liability within our lives, okay? I do ultimately see a reconciliation, okay? For some of you all, this could involve, again, a cancer, okay? For some of you all, this could have to do with the Leo, okay? For some of you all, you may feel trapped in a situation possibly by Leo with the pregnancy. For some of y'all, that's the case, okay? Um, for some of you all, this has to do with air. For some of you, all the damn elements is here, damn it. But ultimately, I do see movement. Movement forward here with this chariot card, as well as reconciliations and ending cycles. Returning that, that that wheel is turning, and everything and everybody can go towards whether you like it or not. But spirit is saying, be receiving, because this wisdom that's being bestowed on you from spirit is actually going to open up the door of spiritual abundance. And through that door, it's nothing that you can't have. Because anything that you want, you can manifest it. Like that. What you gonna do? Alright? So that is what I have for the month of April. Some of y'all could also be dealing with a damn Gemini. This love is going. And for some of y'all, you could be dealing with someone who mirrors you. Like your perfect reflection. But it's gonna require for you to move forward. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Gemini. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Cancer. Whatever the signs are, this wheel is turning. With the number 10 here, we ended, we closing it up, baby, and moving into new pastures, greater pastures, okay? So you guys let me know how that resonates. It was a bit jumpy, and I did want to, um, really want to clarify, but Spirit was like, no, actually just kind of let it go. Clear, cut, dry. If you need a personal reading, y'all, hit me up, because see, I see Taurus, <laughs> tell me how you need to hit me up, all right? Um, I love you all, y'all. Peace. Love, many blessings. Namaste. Bye, babies.